Let's see. Um, it does not look like it. Okay. Well, I thought Leslie and Kyle were both definitely going to be on. Let's give it just another minute, then we'll get going. Okay, and I'll just send out a reminder really quickly too. Perfect, thanks. <clears throat> All right, so Dr. Williams is coming. So I will go ahead and get y'all on Facebook. So we can be conscious Great. of time. I know there's a Braves game tonight. So I know. <laughs> All right, it looks like we're live. So good evening, everybody. Hope y'all are doing well. <clears throat> um, first off, just to get it out of the way, I uh, want to go ahead and uh, get the, uh, the minutes approved from October. I hope y'all had an opportunity to review those. Um, can I get a, a motion to um, approve the minutes from October? So moved. May I get a second? Second. Any requests for uh, revisions or any objections to approval of the October minutes? Hearing none, um, the minutes are approved. Kyle or Lillian, have y'all received any update from Dr. Bates uh, regarding his analysis of the survey results. I have not, and I will reach out to him now. Um, I know the last time that we met in person, they were still working on the contract, and I don't know if that was finished. Okay. All right. uh, I connected him with our employee who had the administrative rights to the results, so they were able to meet a week or so ago. She provided him with the results, and he um, has access to look at the data and start to analyze it in the format. So he would use her as the point of contact, she being um, Patrice, because as we shared, HR wants to you know, remain independent of the survey. So we didn't look at the data, the results, or any of that information so that he's able to work directly with her on um, retrieving it or any type of analysis that he wants to see. So um, I imagine he's working that up. Um, uh -huh. I did just follow up with him in live time, and he said he has still not gotten the contract signed back to him. So he's looking at the he's looking for the contract. Okay. For the contract and the the payment. Yeah. Okay, I'll follow up on that. I know we got a, a approval to move forward with that. 
So I need to see where it is in our um, financial process. But I'll put that as Thank a you, uh, priority for in the morning. Absolutely. All right. Well, I have done a little bit of work on the um, the, the draft recommendations. Um, looking at those, I think it may make sense for us to, to parse them down a little bit. I went ahead and did that in the um, the Google document that Kyle put together. If I can get it open here. <clears throat> what we really need to decide on now, we've got obviously the um, the exit interview recommendation that's pretty much already fleshed out, may need a few edits, but it's essentially ready to go. Um, after that, the uh, recommendations uh, need to be completed for the improvement of the uh, recruiting, hiring, and onboard policies, as well as um, I went ahead and incorporated them together, the improved use of the human resources software and ongoing staff surveys. Um, I drafted a little bit of the, the recommendation portion. We got to fill out some of the other uh, rationale and flesh it out a little bit more. Um, I was told by Ruben he ended up having a work conflict. Uh, he had originally um, planned on assisting with the, um, the hiring onboarding process um, recommendation, and he's no longer able to assist on that. Um, so I need a, a volunteer to fill in and help. Um, um, and then also, go ahead. I'll say, well, I already, so I went into some of the, uh, into the documents a little bit ago and started updating some of those information that was not there. So I'm more than happy to go ahead with um, working on the recruitment, hiring, and onboarding policies. That'd be great. And so, Kate, you had uh, previously indicated the uh, approved, you'd work on the development of a de defined um, recruitment and retention plan. Uh, so will you uh, work with Kyle on that first one? Um, Y'all can work together and get that, and then we can uh, everybody go in and, and give comments and uh, edit it for our final uh, recommendation. And then okay. so the last one would thank you. Um, and then the last one would be the the use of the software and continued uh, use of staff surveys. Um, Charlene, you got any interest on that one? Um, can you give me a little bit more of what that would entail? Really, we're coming up, we're using the um, the example that we have. Um, it's it's in uh, Basecamp in documents. We've got the, the already fleshed out example on the exit interviews. Um, and some of the stuff's been filled out, uh, but mainly we're, we need to come up with a recommendation um, explanation and the rationale behind it to plug that information in there. Okay. Okay. And I am happy to assist on, you know, on substance or editing on any and all of these, uh, but but I know we're all very busy and, and some uh, to help just to get this where well, we've got it. I want us to have a, a working um, set of recommendations um, as soon as possible, hopefully by the, the end of this week. So that way, if we do get that uh, survey review analysis back and we need to do some revisions, we can do that quickly. If we don't get it in. Uh, we will build something into each recommendation about how the city needs to take the results of that survey into account. Does that sound fair to everybody? Yes. Sounds good. And as I, and I think some, something else we talked about in person, sorry, Catherine, were you speaking? Sorry. Yeah, somebody else is speaking of it broke up. No, no, go ahead, go ahead, forget about that. Uh, something else that we were talking about is that 
the background probably will not. I mean, you can use that for a, like so some of the things will not change much throughout each one. So just mean probably need to look yeah, at that they, on it. Exactly. They just need to be tweaked a little bit if there's specifics that we need to point out for each of the three recommendations. Yeah, because we had talked about before uh, creating standard operating procedures, but that really works into each one of our recommendations. I thought that was redundant, uh, so we've cut that, and we'll just incorporate that into each one. And you'll see, it, it, we don't have to have a great bit of detail. Um, it's pretty straightforward, one-page document. Um, And once we have those together, uh, what I'll do is I'll send um, both emails and uh, communications via ba uh, Basecamp so we can get those into as much final form as possible before the last uh, full uh, commission meeting. Um, and we will continue to tweak and edit those as we go along. Any other um, issues or, or ideas y'all want to discuss? Yeah, and without the having this, uh, the survey analysis results, uh, we don't really have any new information um, to operate off of right now. Um, and I'll reach out to the other members uh, that weren't here. It sounded like Ruben, uh, with a trial was going to be out of pocket for a while. Um, and I know Tom had been traveling. I think he's back now, but I'll, I'll loop him in and let him know our details of tonight's meeting. Um, but if y'all don't have anything else for round table, um, makes more sense for us to, to jump in and work on these recommendations, getting those finalized, uh, and then hanging on here on the on the zoom too long and i don't know about y'all but i'm ready to watch the braves play too so. <laughs> go rockets just kidding <laughs> <laughs> all right well if we've got our i don't want to Sit here, waste anybody's time if we don't have anything else to cover. We got our marching orders and know what we need to complete before the next meeting. Um, if y'all have any issues or questions, um, reach out to me and, and we'll get those taken care of. But I really appreciate y'all's time and all the work everybody's doing. Quick question, does, does everyone, has everyone seen the document, like where it's at and how to get into it and have access? That's what I was getting ready okay, to thanks, ask. Charlie. For. Okay, if you go into um, to Basecamp and go to the hiring and retention uh, site uh -huh. um, page, if you click yes. on documents, there's a Google document there that Kyle put together, and you should be able to access it from that. And that'll, did you give uh, editing rights to everybody or? Or is it just a set group that have editing rights now? Yeah, if you have the link, you should be able to edit it. It shouldn't be a okay. problem yet. Right. The hiring and re retention recommendation form. Is that? Let me look back at it. I think that's it. Got to jump back another page here. Last updated by Kyle on the 21st of October. Let's yes, see. that's it. This is it. Okay. Yeah. Perfect. Okay. All right. And if you click on it, it and should, we, it, if you click on it, it should take you to Google just to be able to edit it. And the first page is really just the sample, which is one of ours anyway. So it's kind of redundant. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right, y'all. I see it. Well, if oh. there are no other questions or issues, uh, we can adjourn, and I hope everybody's got a, 
have a great evening and go Braves. Uh, well, this is Lily, and I was just before you adjourn, just want to clarify yeah, like the drop dead date for us to get that survey data back uh, from Dr. Bates in order for you all to finalize the recommendations. Well, I mean, obviously, we want it as soon as possible. Um, mm -hmm. Let me look at the calendar here. When is our, our last meeting is the 18th, correct? Yeah, so November 18th is the the last full commission meeting. Um, so the sooner we could get that back, the better. Um, okay. But obviously, not getting it would be suboptimal. But we can mm -hmm. uh, we'll pass that information on, and we may be able to tweak it after that because I don't think it is until mid December that the formal um, recommendations are going to be presented to the mayor. Okay. Yeah. And I, he did say that he's a, he would need an additional week because of some, another project came up as well. So we need to probably work on what we can for him. So I think if I can offer up to the committee too, because the, what's in there right now is um, just really strong recommendations and um, they just really align with the need and are, you know, spot on. So thank you uh, for putting that out there, um, team. And thank you, Dr. Williams, for uh, putting that information into the Google Doc. Um, but even absent of the survey information, if you don't get time, based on what we do have back, the overarching recommendation is hiring and recruitment plan. And that's the big one because then everything else is really the subset of the hiring and re, um, recruitment plan because then you talk about the onboarding and the general orientation. Then we talk about retention and you can't get to retention without the employee surveys to know what the issues are and what's the good, bad, and the ugly. And then you talk about the exit interviews and we can't get to the exit interviews if it's not part of the hiring and recruitment plan. So at the very least, um, you know, there's light at the end of the tunnel and the sunshine and the ray is that if we do do a great hiring and recruitment plan um, as a recommendation and that's adopted, it would definitely put us on the right path. Mm -hmm. And then what, what data that came through from the survey, as you said, um, the city will continue to look at the results of the survey in any of those categories and how it may have impacted, you know, our plan positively or negatively. Um, but again, following back up, I will follow up with the contract first thing in the morning so that that's not preventing us from moving forward. Great. And Lily, once we have these, these working drafts, I'll get these to you and Helena, uh, because we'd like your, uh, your input as well. If you've got any concerns about it, recommended uh, edits or improved language, uh, we're definitely open to and would appreciate that feedback from you. Okay. All right. Yeah, we're, we're very excited to get to the November 18th date and get the information to see how everything has fallen out. So um, I'm probably going to put a reminder on my computer, put it a sticky, put it on my phone to follow up on that contract when I walk in the door in the morning. I really appreciate it. Okay. Thank you. All right. If there's going once, going twice, anything else? All right, everybody, we are adjourned. Y'all have a great evening, and thanks again for your time and your assistance with us. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Bye. Good night.